Britain's ruling party is hanging on by a thread. Neither Conservative Prime Minister Theresa May nor opposition Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn won a majority in the UK's general election Thursday, according to early returns resulting in a so-called hung parliament. Now Conservatives and Labour must view to cobble together a majority aliens by luring members of third parties to their sites. May had called for the so-called snap election in the spring, hoping to boost the party's rank in Parliament ahead of contentious Brexit talks set to take place later this summer. Now it appears the gambit backfired. May's party went into the election with a majority in Parliament, but emerged with less than the 326 seats needed for a majority in the 650-member legislature. The BBC projected Conservatives to capture 316 seats to Labour's 265, as the last votes were counted Friday morning. The outcome is a huge rebuke for May, who had anticipated a landslide that will strengthen her political mandate ahead of the looming, contentious Brexit. The Conservatives' demand for a hard Brexit the severing of nearly all ties with the European Union may cause some support from the project third and fourth highest vote-getting parties, the Scottish National Party and the Liberal Democrats. Carbon's party favours a soft Brexit, which will keep borders open and lessen tariffs on British exports, a position that could win him alias among the pro-EU, SNP and the Lib Dems. According to parliamentary rules, May gets first shot at trying to form a coalition, but Carbon could begin talks before her efforts have official files. The last time an election resulted in a hung parliament was in 2010, when Conservatives formed a coalition with the Lib Dems, but that doesn't seem as likely now. A Lib Dems former leader, Nick Clegg, has said his party would not make a deal with Conservatives this time around, according to Reuters. May could also try to press on with minority government, but her party will need to independently drum up support for each piece of legislation it hopes to pass. And UK minority government sent to not last long. A hung parliament in 1974 results in a Labour-led minority government, but the party had so much trouble passing legislation that then Prime Minister Harold Wilson called for new election in a successful bid to establish a majority. May will remain Prime Minister until Corbyn can strike a coalition deal or until Parliament delivers a vote of no confidence which could come when it convinced June 19.